Hello, I'm Marfax Mars, and this one's too funny to let go. AOC. I'm going to call this idiot AOC from now on, just because it's easier. AOC says people shouldn't reproduce due to global warming. Well, that's brilliant. That will solve all the problems. It most definitely would. Just tell people not to have any kids. Uh, just when I think this idiot can't get any stupider, she gets stupider. Democratic Socialist Representative AOC suggested on Sunday that night that people should consider not having children due to climate change because there's a scientific consensus that life will be hard for kids. Life's always hard. Are you out of your mind? Uh, why don't you try going to a few places like Bangladesh and Laos? Or, uh, why don't you try going to Venezuela to see how the kids are doing there, where people with your same mindset are in charge? I think you'll be shocked at how uh, hard life is down there. Our plant is going to hit disaster if we don't turn this ship around and so it's basically like there's a scientific consensus that lives of our children are going to be very difficult. AOC said while chopping up food for her kitchen during an Instagram live video. And it does lead, I think, young people to have a legitimate question you know, is it okay to still have children? You idiot. What do you think's going to <laughs> Jesus <laughs> what do you think's going to happen, you idiot, if nobody had any children? Do you have any grip on reality at all? <laughs> I don't think she does. Let me give you a little clue, you idiot. There won't be any human race in what? 70 years, if that happened, it's not something you can do anything about. You can't force people not to have kids. AOC then took a shot at Senator Dianne Feinstein over an incident that happened in Feinstein's office on Friday when a far-left fringe group tried to pressure Feinstein into supporting the Green New Deal. You know what's interesting about this group? Feinstein told the group on Friday, in response to groups storming her office, I've been doing this for 30 years. I know what I'm doing. You come in here and you say that it has to be my way or the highway. Don't respond to that, Feinstein continued. I've gotten elected, just ran. I was elected by almost a million folk plurality. And I know what I'm doing. So, you know... Maybe people should listen a little bit. Well, how do you like that? The shoes on your fit. Shoes on the other foot now. Uh, <laughs> you're getting uh, screwed by the same people that your politics supports. Support. You come in. AOC says Feinstein's response was like not good enough because the legislation that Democrats support, Democrat support is frankly going to kill us. <laughs> oh boy. She's setting herself up to get totally marginalized, if not booted out entirely. I'll say this again. AO say, said Feinstein's response was like not good enough because the legislation that the Democrats support is frankly going to kill us. Oh, they're going to love that. <laughs> this idea that I've been working on for X amount of years, um, it's like not good enough. AOC said. Like we need a universal sense of urgency and people are like trying to kill, <laughs> introduce 
watered down proposals that are frankly going to kill us. A lack of urgency is going to kill us. What a freaking nut. Uh. Well, Miss AOC, you really need to check yourself in to a mental institution. I mean, if the human race were to stop reproducing, we'd die out. That's fact. Virtually every species on Earth has to reproduce itself or it dies out. That's a physical fact that can't be ignored, but this idiot is too stupid to even understand that. Unbelievable. Uh, folks, I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Just laugh at this idiot. That's all she's good for. I keep, keep on that. Uh, don't turn your back on her. Uh, on Star Trek, they like to say, don't turn your back on a Breen. Well, don't turn your back on AOC. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.